ये आइटम नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री वाणिज्य और उद्योग मंत्रालय के नियंत्रणाधीन अनुदानों की मांगों पर चर्चा होगी अब सभा में वाणिज्य और उद्योग मंत्रालय से संबंधित अनुदानों की मांग संख्या दस और ग्यारह को चर्चा तथा मतदान के लिए लिया जाएगा सभा में उपस्थित जिन माननीय सदस्यों के वाणिज्य और उद्योग मंत्रालय से संबंधित अनुदानों की मांगों पर कटौती प्रस्ताव परिचालित किए गए हैं यदि वे अपने कटौती प्रस्ताव प्रस्तुत करना चाहते हैं तो 15 मिनट के भीतर सभा पटल पर पर्चिया भेज दे जिनमें उन कटौतियों प्रस्तावों की संख्याएं लिखी हो जिन्हें वे प्रस्तुत करना चाहते हैं इस प्रकार प्रस्तुत किए गए कटौती प्रस्तावों की क्रम संख्याओं को दर्शाने वाली सूची कुछ समय पश्चात सूचना पट पर प्रदर्शित कर दी जाएगी यदि सदस्यों को उस सूची में कोई विसंगति मिले तो वे उसकी सूचना तत्काल सभा पटल पर मौजूद अधिकारी को दे दें श्री एंटो एंटनी जी Thank you, Chairman. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to participate in the discussion on the demand for grants for Ministry of Commerce and Industry 2022-2023. Chairman, the government has set an ambitious export target of $400 billion for 2021-22, and if this target does materialize. The eagerly awaited economic turnaround could be well on its way. During 2021-22, April to December, the merchandise exports recorded growth of 49.7 percent to 301.4 billion US dollar, compared to corresponding period of last year, and 26.5 percent over 2019-20. April to December, but it is not reflecting the economy. Chairman, I hope the government is aware that the commercial crops and spices produced in India are facing steep fall in price, and the farmers are on the verge of suicide due to the price fall. There is no mention in this budget to help the farmers of cardamom, pepper. and other spices and plantation crops like rubber coffee tea and cashew the farmers of these crops are not able to meet the cost of production of their producers i hope the honorable minister will address this issue while giving the reply chairman i would like to request the government to withdraw from the move to repeal the rubber act 1947 and to introduce the rubber promotion and development bill 2022 the repealing of the rubber act and the introduction of new bill in its place is a deliberate attempt to cripple the rubber board by stripping of its powers and also to wipe out the rubber cultivation from the country at present fixing the standard prices and testing the quality of natural rubber are the responsibilities vested within the rubber board Moreover, the import of natural rubber is also should be in accordance with the recommendations of the board. However, the new bill seeks to strip off all the powers of the rubber board in this regard. This raises concern among 11.5 lakh rubber growers in the country. Honourable Minister has denied that the power of rubber board will not be abridged. Then it is very difficult to understand. why the government is trying to repeal the rubber act 1947 if it is required necessary amendments to the rubber act 1947 can be made for giving more powers to the enhance the area of operations to the rubber board the government is providing all agricultural benefits like subsidies fertilizer pesticides to commercial crops like cotton and jute agricultural benefits to be granted to the producers of natural rubber also 
Chairman, Kerala is very much concerned about the falling prices of natural rubber. The drastic crash in the price of natural rubber, coupled with the rising cost of production and declining yields from the progressively aging rubber holdings, put the rubber plantation sector in the country into a major crisis. Both large estate and small holdings were baldly affected due to the low price of rubber. About 11.5 lakh small-scale rubber cultivators face crisis due to fall in prices of rubber. The main reason for decline in rubber prices is indiscriminate import of natural rubber. In order to arrest the price fall, import of, rice, uh, import of rubber should be stopped with the immediate effect. Chairman, import of rubber is increased due to less import duty of rubber and rubber products. At present, rubber price has come down to 160 rupees per kg, which was about 240 per kg 10 years back. This has made rubber cultivation not remunerative at all, and farmers are living rubber cultivation. This affects the economy to the state also. 95% of the rubber cultivation is from Kerala. So an appropriate scheme for natural rubber price stabilization or income stabilization fund to support the small and marginal farmer is necessary and essential. The central government has the authority to increase import duty in line with the World, world Trade Agreement, but it has been done so far. I also urge the government of India to restrict the import of natural rubber from outside. Chairman, the government has also trying hard to grant BAS mark to couple up. BAS mark is required to import couple up. If it is granted, large scale import will take place and result fall in price of natural rubber and it may cause environmental hazards by possibility of bringing virus and other insects as couple up is an unprocessed product. Thus, government is trying to put the farmers into another trouble. Not only rubber, all plantation crops, tea, coffee and spices are currently passing through an unusually difficult pace with the basic problems of low commodity prices combined with the high cost of production owing to low productivity of labor and land further complicated by climate change. The plantation sector is crucial to livelihood of some of the most marginalized and vulnerable sections of the population. The plantation sector provides livelihood to 23 million workers and more than 1.5 million growers. The sector gains prominence as the principal source of livelihood. A large number of scheduled tribes, scheduled caste, women, minority communities and spatially excluded communities. Chairman, the, spe the, specific, the specificities of plantation sector need to be addressed separately rather than extending the support provided to the agriculture or industrial sector. On the supply side, the key issues that need reduction are labor and capital availability for continued production and something out supply chain and marketing bottlenecks. The commodity boards have, had been implementing various measures to mitigate some of these problems. The tea board extended a moratorium of six months of interest and installments for the loans taken through the special purpose tea fund, uh, SPTF scheme for replanting, planting and rejuvenation. The tea board also conducted special e-auctions for special plucking done on 25th May. The Spices Board had intervened to enhance export by relaxing quality checks to countries not requiring quality standard certificates. Similarly, the Rubber Board has, through its producer companies, arranged to buy rubber sheet from the farmers at a base price, thus providing liquidity for the farmers. The commodity would be sold as when the markets open and the full market price would be reimbursed later. Nevertheless, it can be seen from the measures adopted. 
for the commodity boards there is very little financial support that the commodity boards are able to provide other than institutional adjustments for this to occur the government of india must take the commodity boards into confidence and address the specific problems of the sector through specific commodity boards the commodity boards have vantage position in reaching out all the stakeholders in their respective plantation sectors separate financial packages must be reached out to the plantation sector through the community boards thank you chairman